Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's review, we are taking a look at the brand new parachute from Streamline Discs. Let us begin by taking a look at the profile and the feel for the parachute. First off, it does have a flat flight plate in this plastic, giving it a semi-deep feel. Also, the wing on the parachute looks to have a more traditional putter nose. However, I think that's more just an optical illusion because this is not an overmold, because when compared to the glitch and the pitch, they all do seem to be quite a bit similar. And it's also worth noting that the parachute feels like it's a tick shallower than either the pitch or the glitch. For now, the parachute only comes in this soft proton plastic, and my goodness, this is a very tacky, grippy, but extremely flexible plastic, as you can bend this thing any which way, but it does like to keep its shape even on hot days, so this is perfect for use in both cooler winter conditions and during the summer. Let's go ahead and dive into the flight numbers, and by the numbers, the parachute is supposed to be slightly more overstable than either the glitch or the pitch, but we will do a flight comparison against the other two later on in the video, so stick around for that. Just for reference, I am a slower arm speed player, and the parachute I was throwing weighed in at 152 grams. For the flight of the parachute, it was very difficult for me to get it to hold any kind of hyzer. In fact, the only way really to get it to hold a hyzer was throwing it at about 40 or 50% power on an extremely exaggerated spike hyzer line. And when thrown with a medium amount of hyzer or slight amount of hyzer, it would flip up to flat, maybe get a gentlest amount of meandering turn in the mid-flight before having almost no to just the slightest of baby hyzers at the very end. And another area where the parachute may not be the best at is at those forehand approaches. You really have to power down on it, use a lot more wrist than arm in order to get it to even kind of hold somewhat of a resemblance of a straight flight, mainly straight to turnover, as once you start powering up, it is good for those kind of standstill, kind of pinched off approach forehand shots. That would be really the only reason I would say to use the parachute when it comes to forehand. All right, so you guys still with me? You still here? Well, let's get into where the parachute truly shines. And that is when you throw it on a slight hyzer, it's going to flip up to flat, hold very, very straight shots, again, with very minimum fade. And then also, once you do start throwing it kind of on flat to slight Anheuser lines, because it is going to hold those angles incredibly well. And one thing that I really do like about the parachute, and I think it's its best attribute, is how forgiving it is when it comes to the angle of release. Even if you miss your angle of release by a little bit, it is going to auto-correct itself. Unlike the glitch, where if you're off even just a hair, it could go from being a, holding a hyzer to all of a sudden being an incidental roller. The parachute, it kind of auto-corrects. If you throw it on a medium hyzer to slight hyzer, it's gonna have a very similar flight. If you throw it flat to slight anhyzer, it's gonna have a very similar flight. It really is perfect for beginning players because it kind of auto-corrects and has a lot more forgiveness to it. As we take a look at the parachute out on the course, this first shot really shows that if you rip into the parachute on a hyzer line, it's going to flip up to flat, hold straight, and then baby, baby hyzer at the very end. To get it to hold any kind of hyzer, you have to power down and you have to really exaggerate that hyzer line, and even then it just barely wants to hyzer out. But let's take a moment to showcase some lines that the parachute is great at. For instance, these straight shots. You've got the wide gap or you got the tiny local route V gap. Yeah, you're right. That is the one we are going to hit to get ourselves to the basket. This, you have a right to left fairway. For a lefty, it's a turnover. Righty, just a gentle hyzer. Being a lefty, I'm going to start the parachute on a slight anhyzer line, and it's just going to hold it all the way around that corner without even an inkling of wanting to hyzer back. So now the big question, parachute, glitch, or pitch? Which is going to be the best for you? To answer that question, I threw all three of the discs on the same holes and also out in the field on a few different lines to try to gauge 
what were the differences, if there really are any, and which one just might work best if you're a slower, medium, or faster arm speed player. When it came to holding a gentle hyzer, the glitch held better, like it just, it just held the line a little bit better. The parachute got a lot more flip up, and the pitch unfortunately was not the best of shots as I threw it considerably lower than the other two, but it did seem to have a little bit more bite at the very end of the flight, even though it was thrown lower, it actually still made it to almost the same spot as the others. And then when actually throwing them on a very slight hyzer, just trying to throw them straight, they all acted very similarly. The pitch got the least amount of meandering turn in the apex of its flight versus the parachute and the glitch did get a little bit. The parachute was getting the least amount of fight back, the glitch was kind of in the middle, and the pitch definitely had the stronger finish. When it came to holding these Anheuser lines, the parachute held it all the way to the ground. The glitch, more or less, it did try to level itself out just at the very end of the flight. And then the pitch starts on that Anheuser line, but as it gets to the end of the flight, it actually does try to fight out into a hyzer. So what are my final thoughts on the three here? Well, the pitch holds the most torque. It's one that you can really rip into harder and I think is the one that bigger arms are going to enjoy because it's better for those straight to slightly hyzer lines. And also when you do put it on an Anheuser line, because it has a better torque, it likes to push forward more as it's turning over versus the glitch and the parachute will kind of just more Anheuser to the ground and not keep pushing forward. Versus the glitch, I just feel overall it holds the line the best, no matter what line you put it on, but it's also the least forgiving when it comes to the angle of release, so if you even just miss your angle by just a hair, you have no idea what it's going to do. The parachute, on the other hand, is the most forgiving when it comes to missing your angle, so I feel it's the best for the beginning or slower arm speed players, players just learning how to throw a disc like this, because it is so forgiving, and unlike the pitch, which caters more to very straight to slightly overstable side, the parachute is more straight to understable side, making it perfect for those beginning slower arm speed players. Well, thank you all so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's two small clicks for you, but it does wonders for the channel. I greatly appreciate your support. Also, be sure to visit GreatLakesDisc.com if you want to try the parachute or just purchasing discs in general. And if you want to save 10%, use that code LEFTY at checkout. Till next time, keep banging chains.